NAN degradation. Degraded NANs are something that are becoming more prevalent the more prevalent flash devices get. And even truly high quality drives will eventually fail. A SanDisk, a Western Digital, it, any of that will eventually fail. We see drives that get used day in and day out for years, and then they'll eventually not be able to be accessed by the end user. I just want to go over why that is. This is a little chart I've prepared of how a NAND cell actually works inside of the drive. As you can see, we have on the top, there's the control gate that controls it. Then we have an oxide layer. That's the oxide in these cells etched in the silicon is acting as an insulator. Then below that, we have the floating gate. That's where the actual charge is stored that is then turned into the data. Then there's another layer of oxide. Then on the right and left side, we have the source and drain connections. Then we have the channel underneath and it's attached to the substrate, the rigid substrate that's like the silicon bottom layer. The oxide in this scheme is very important because again, it's the insulator between places that electronic charges are held and where they go. The floating gate alone can have, it says 10 million volts per centimeter, which is incredibly high for an electrical charge. And this generates an electrical field. That electrical field is so powerful for such a small chip that eventually it will actually start to break down the oxide at the atomic level. So it starts failing. And then once that insulator is broken down, the electronic charge that's stored in that cell can start to leak to other places. And it can't be used anymore. This is pretty normal. This is normal operation of a NAND. Eventually, if enough cells fail, the first few, you're going to be okay. Your drive can compensate. They're made to do that. But it's okay until it isn't. You cross a threshold. So the controller will start to have a hard time with working with that storage media once you reach a certain threshold, and you may lose access to the drive when it's plugged into your computer. Eventually, you may find yourself in a potential data loss situation. We see people all the time who say, well, it was working a little bit, it got slow, and now it's not connecting to anything. When the drive starts to have this type of issue, it depends on how severe the media damage is, but there are several steps before it becomes a no recovery scenario. The least extreme case is going to be sort of two categories. One, we could extract the data through the controller using hardware imaging, and it may have some errors we can compensate for, or maybe some errors that you can't compensate for. But either way, you're still gaining access through specialized hardware that can work with that controller in a different way than your operating system can. Or two, the actual NAND has degraded to the point where there's a firmware failure. And then you have to inject a custom firmware into this drive and you'll be able to extract data off of it. But a lot of times that's going to contain a lot of media damage because again, these NANDs are starting to become degraded. With degraded firmware, it's just worth noting that you can start to see strange behavior from the drive. If the firmware is degraded, the drive's still sort of operational. You're plugging into your computer. The firmware can start to do weird things. And that's when it'll start to sort of fail itself. The next and more advanced method, once you go past those sort of easy scenarios, is going to be taking the NANDs off and dumping the raw data off of them, it, just the raw ones and zeros that are on the chip, and then using software with a series of mathematical operations to reconstruct those ones and zeros, how the controller of the drive would reconstruct them to turn it into usable data. Essentially, you can see on the right here, we have a graphical representation of how we'd be looking at those ones and zeros when we're working with it in that way. The red pixels being a one and the black pixels being a zero. So that's a graphical representation of what this data on a NAND might look like. It's pretty common to view it that way. And unfortunately, if the raw data on the NAND it has a bunch of errors that can't be compensated for, eventually it'll become too prevalent and you may, in some scenarios, not be able to get, A, what the customer wants off the drive. You could get maybe things that are not as damaged, but it's not the data that they're going after, or you won't be able to get any usable data at all. And in that period, it becomes a no recovery. This is a pretty common scenario we're seeing with older flash drives, older SSDs, things that have NAND technology that's a little more antiquated, which is a strange saying about NAND flash. But it is a very common scenario. Go ahead, drivesaversdatarecovery.com if you want to learn more about the company.